Hey, what's going on everybody? So, um, I was in there looking at my scoring setting because I was trying to make sure I had everything ready to go when I'm doing these mock drafts. Kind of make sure I didn't miss anything, you know, because my league threw in some bonus point stuff and, and all that kind of stuff. Just so I made sure I fully understood because after they made the mistake of going through and doing uh, our league is like a full 17 week league with no playoffs. They changed that back because they had messed up. I just wanted to double check all the other stats. And what I found to be interesting, which I didn't mention to any of them, uh, you, rude or not, not my problem. Um, what it was is that if you go down here, if you go into your league in Yahoo and you go to your settings, what you'll see, this is where you'll see your scoring points, right? And this is where you'll see um, everything that you're doing. Um, my dog is in here and it is not allowed in here, so but I'm not going to get it. But basically what I did is I came down here and I saw that the roster positions are the, the quarterback, two wide receiver, two running back, out. Now, um, tight end, a wide receiver, running back, tight end, flex, kicker, defense, Austin, you too, out. Um, but if you look here, we got the, the three bench spots and then they throw in this IR spot and the greatest the best thing about this IR spot is because what you can do is at the end of your draft you can draft somebody or close to the end of your draft depending on the situation you can and, and now you've got to look up how the IR is eligible on your team uh, and it doesn't necessarily say in here but what you can come to is you can go up to this players list here and you can go to injury reports if you click on that, it's going to give you a list of all the players that are injured. Okay, so these are ones that are suspended. Um, these are having questionable. These are the things that kind of have something going on with them, right? So you scroll all the way down to the bottom. They go in alphabetical order based off of uh, this place right here. So what you can do is go down to the bottom down here, right? And... Doo -doo -doo -doo. Bam, there we go. Okay, so basically these are the people that are now on IR, right? And so... This indicates that they are actually on IR and that they have an issue. Um, what that means, though, is that once the NFL's put them on an IR, they're eligible for that IR spot. When they're eligible for that IR spot, you can draft them at the end of your draft. Now, you can't draft and designate them to your IR in the middle of the draft and get an extra draft pick. But what you can do is towards the end of the draft with your last pick, second to last pick, whatever it may be, you can grab them if there's really a couple guys you really want on your team. Um that you're you're okay with taking in your last pick what you do is you draft one of these guys with your last pick um and so for instance we go down here let's say crowell or um who's another guy that's it's you know decent uh meh, say rock thomas maybe so one of these guys here right so you, you take let's say you think crowell is going to be the running back for the raiders all right when he comes back with his achilles injury right you go and you you draft him with your last last pick immediately as soon as the draft ends Boom, you jump down and you throw him in your IR spot, okay? As soon as you put him in your IR spot, he's now eligible. Now, a lot of times what the uh, what what certain things do is they make your, like, I think right after the draft, they make it like um, a two-day waiver system or something like that. Occasionally, they don't. It just kind of depends on how you have your settings set up. Um, but what you would do in, in most instances in the leagues that I play in, it's immediately after the draft, you can start dropping people and picking people up. So what I do is I take this guy at the very end, I can immediately throw him in my IR spot. I don't have to drop anybody to do it. So I'll, I'll draft him, throw him in my IR, and then I'll pick somebody up because now I have a quote-unquote empty spot on my roster. Um, and so that's a really good way of getting an extra player on your roster during the, the, the draft. Otherwise, what you would have had to do is you would have drafted all these guys, guys that you're actually interested in, man. Maybe it's somebody that you really think is going to hit up hard and that maybe nobody knows about. You'd have had to draft that person last, drop them, pick up one of these guys, move them to IR, and then because you drop them, they go to I they go to waivers for two days or three days, whatever the process, whatever your setup is. So you're waiting and somebody else can claim that guy if they wanted to, right? And get your guy back. But basically, if you basically draft an IR guy at the very end of your draft, put him into your IR spot immediately after the draft and go pick up that guy you were going to draft with your last pick anyways, there's no waiting process and you get both guys on your team. And you don't take the risk of somebody else snagging that guy that you dropped after a couple days of them sitting on waivers and them hearing maybe a little more hype about them. So I just wanted to give you guys that. I saw it today and I don't know if we're going to end up keeping this IR spot, but for now it's still on my, my team. Uh, I'm on my league and and that goes through I mean we're only in like what week one or two of the preseason so injuries start to happen I mean if people are on IR designated for return like you know they're going to be out for three four five six weeks 
um, that's that's where you're really really gonna make um, make a good move here because it's like basically having a it's like with Kareem Hunt everybody's draft drafting Kareem Hunt now he's gonna be out like he's out he suspended eight games then the bye he's not coming back till week ten people are gonna literally hold a bench spot on their team for Kareem Hunt that is in my opinion that's not a smart move but teach their own right what do I know I only win fantasy football all the time but. If I had Kareem Hunt with an injury like that, where he was injured and he was designated for IR, and I could draft him, move him to an IR position, keep him in an IR for you know those eight weeks, week 10, he comes back and all of a sudden he's eligible, but maybe he's even nursing himself back from injury or whatever like that for a week or two. Now I'm, he's really only clogging up a bench spot on my team for about a week or two. Um, or he comes right back in full force and you know does his does his dude does his dude does his thing right. So 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 that's kind of the difference and why the IR spot is actually super important and why it's actually meaningful to have that spot if you have that spot to utilize it because you can grab one of these guys and you would drive them with like your last pick you're in the draft um, and you just snag this guy or third to last pick or whatever time you want to do it. If you want to still do your kicker and defense last. That's cool too. I mean it, it's a really irrelevant. Um, as long as you're grabbing one of these guys with one of your very last picks that you're not sacrificing, not picking up a guy that you actually would want um, to get him, right? So so that's that's the tip, guys. That's the trick. Hopefully that helps you. Hopefully if you got a, a IR spot, you kind of get an understanding of what that's like. Um, if I knew where to find... Um, IR eligible, like how to tell if somebody's IR eligible. Um, I cannot remember where it is. Uh, maybe if I just go to my team, maybe it'll tell me. Um, let's see here. Uh, no, it just tells me my draft time or whatever like that. But um, in the future, I, I might be able to uh, to look it up, but I don't want to waste any more time on this video about it. Um, if I find it out, I'll let you guys know tomorrow or something if I find that out. Um, but anyways, that was just kind of it, guys. I just want to give you that heads up. So um, if you like it, comment, subscribe, share, do your thing. Um, hit that button down there. I really appreciate it. And um, anything else, guys, um, you got you, you think you want to know about uh, anything else to, you know, get yourselves up to this diamond level, get yourself, you know, winning your leagues, making money off of, you know, your friends and whoever it is you're playing against. Um, just hit me up. Let me know if you've got any questions, you know, leave them in the comments and stuff like that. And uh, and we'll hopefully get you guys to uh, your championship game. So with that, I'm Fantasy Football.